Hallelujah, anyhow. Never, never let your problems get you down. Yeah. When temptation comes to you, lift your hands up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, anyhow. Never, never let your problems get you down. Oh, when temptation comes your way, lift your head up high and say good morning to anyone, every, everyone, anyhow. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. Good morning. Sharing my information. Good morning, Dana Graves. Good morning, D. Samuels. Good morning. Well, go on, my brother. Where's your love liver? Ah, you see that? See that? That's a plus from the jump already. Yeah, let me just share this information in the kitchen for. No, this is for them. Them nobody is um swiping something here for breakfast live. Hallelujah. Good say good morning and and uh, you look the people in for me, Joshua. You look the people in for me. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Tanya Aceron. Today we're just doing breakfast five again. Good morning. Helen, happy Thursday to you too, Helen. Too. Good morning, Ben's child. Ben's child. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Dana Graves. Hallelujah. Why me keep saying hallelujah, babe? Because the highest grace. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, guys, so I just post um, this thing up on the, the Facebook so that, you know, other folks can join us. Alright, so we're in our breakfast live um, thing this morning. D. Samuel said, Good morning, handsome king. Big up yourself, you, because somebody said, handsome Joshua. Thank you. Eh? I don't send you the matter. Oh, 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 I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm Beef liver with um with saute with saute stuff peppers I think. Breakfast is three twelve p.m. in the UK. Wow. Three twelve p.m. we have to breakfast in the UK. Well, we live in America, <laughs> and in Eastern time it's ten nineteen. Yeah, yeah, Joshua know about Eastern versus mm -hmm. Western. Eastern Standard Time. The news. <laughs> Cousin Nisi is coming for breakfast. Cousin Nisi coming for breakfast. And we want to give her the breakfast. Because of breakfast. And we say breakfast. Alright, so. Right. Why did, what, what is it? It's a new, the new, the new stand on my ears. Yeah, tell us where you are logging in from so we know where where to, to send our greetings, you know, greetings in the morning. Alright guys, so let me show you first and foremost. We have two packages. Um we have some, yeah, a couple oh, packages of liver and we bought this at our local public supermarket. Alright, and the liver they 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 skin it, take off all of the, the silver skin and and then they 
you know break it into into pieces like so so it's easier to handle and that's that's good you know because one time we used to buy liver in big chunks all right then um to go with my liver we are doing lip this morning we're doing liver with peppers okay so i have a bunch of peppers here i have some sweet pepper jalapeno pepper serrano pepper bell pepper and we have the hot the hot peppers we normally put those in our refrigerator in the freezer we have onion thyme scallion and garlic that we also um, are working with this morning um so the first thing we're gonna do is break down our liver all right i mean nottingham shire okay nottingham nottingham shire is in the house hey uk is in the house oh yeah baby baby, baby come on and then you walk over UK side and you see the nothing I'm sheriff of the Robin Hood story. <laughs> Someone said NY. New York's in the house. Hey, Brooklyn's in the house. Hey. Yeah, we said Brooklyn. Yeah, but at New York, you know what that's what I call it. Uh, that's the original song, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where the whole Alright, so guys, there are a lot of people who you know it's a controversial cooking organs is controversial but at the same time it's part of um, our jamaican and caribbean staple and so we really and truly have to do it now this cutting board we do not cut vegetable on this cutting board we only cut meat on this cutting board all right so that's another thing that i really want you guys to always be aware of separating your your cutting boards now liver as I said, it's something that maybe I, I think I may have done this only one other time on this channel. Because mm -hmm. we only eat liver like twice a year. Mm -hmm. Well, if, if that much, exactly. you know. Um, and so you have to know how to angle it. Liver is essentially the, the organ that deals with blood um, in the body. And so some people are finicky about it. I, I still wanted to do it, show you how I do it on my channel. So that's why I, I'm showing you this. All right. So if you don't like this thing, turn away. No but pretty much what you want to do is normally i make it um be, be a little bit um frozen. frozen so that you can manage it i don't want to deal with it um outside and you just want to slice it on the bias to you know get it into slivers that you can manage all right and everybody cook their liver different this is the gory part of the video so we're gonna probably sh sh um cut away to joshua doing his thing you know um if if you want to see joshua <laughs> all right if you want to see cut, put it back josh put it back if you all want to see what i'm doing i'm just pretty much trying to cut my liver into bite-sized slivers um, and as i said this liver was was already the this the, the, the silver skin was already um you know, removed. Love liver, but <laughs> why are you yawning? Yeah, I mean, every, Jeez. Every breakfast I have him come on. Trust me. I haven't had it in a long time. Exactly. Because most people are more health conscious now, so most people will not, you know, um go take liver up to to to, to cook all willy nilly like that, you know? Because most people are health conscious. Now, as I said, the easiest way to manage your liver is to work with it when it's semi-frozen like this. They want to know what brand of knife you're using. I'm using a brand of knife. May I have a look? You know, but it's a Jerusalem steel. And so, the reason why you have the corrugated um, because of the type of, of mm -hmm. metal that it, that it is. So, when your liver is frozen, you see how easy it cuts? Mm -hmm. You know, you get it into um, good um size like this san francisco california big up big up big up california's in the house san francisco's in the house hey baby baby come on baby baby come on baby baby come on oh, when you walk by every night. guys if you ever see him look at us weird when we're singing the, the welcome song like in better than for sing the welcome song you you're not better than for sing the welcome song that me i try to tell you i wash my boards with rock salt and half a cut lemon okay we normally just use vinegar you know um and, and make sure so our board is well well soaked 
in the vinegar yeah and so hello ladies the yardy belly charmer has arrived <laughs> good morning try good morning try <laughs> good morning try good morning try big up yourself try <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Somebody said they use, Helen said she used liver because right now she needs as much B12 that she can get. Okay, and liver provides B12 and iron. And iron. It's a vitamin. And of course, you can get it from, from plant sources, but you know, sometimes. Me no know, just like when the liver have a little smooth edge. Alright, let me move this. Let me get these things out of the way. Got some vinegar babes and toast right under here. Then I go use some yeah, little then you like to um, yeah. And then you use this. Alright, may I come guys, may I come? South Carolina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Joshua, what? we caught you singing the song, bruh. We caught you singing the song. So you can't get away from that. All right, we're going to wash the knife and everything that has to do with cutting the liver. All right, now let me just clean up, guys. My, my, my our table is rustic, so please don't come for us. Our workstation is what it is. All right. Thank you for the New York clarification. All right, so now we have our cutting board and we're gonna start working on, uh, first thing, what I'm gonna add to my liver, and guys, um, we really don't wash the liver once you, that's why you buy your liver from a reputable source because you really, this is something that you really don't want to get to any um, wet stage. Whole, yeah. yeah, it changes the whole com complexity of the liver. So the first thing you want to do is start your marinade process and I'm using some Moore's marinade yeah, Moore's marinade. And guys, if you have Moore's that are our Worcestershire sauce, you're good to go. All right. And so I'm just putting on the ne the necessary things before we start. Um, and liver don't have to go to any long marinating process. I'm putting some soy sauce as well. All right. So I put the the, the ingredients list in the description. Putting some soy sauce as well. Good morning, um, prayer kid. I'm also putting some grace fish and meat sauce. All right, and that's my that's the first stage of marinade. And liver has to be sauteed real quick. This is how liver is cooked, real real quick. Yeah, I'm using also some spicy honey garlic sauce. All right. Good morning, Kim Kim. Morning, Kim Kim. That scotch bunny looks so beautiful. Don't they? They on sell the orange ones in San Francisco. The orange ones are usually called habaneros. All right. So, and then I also had in the in the thumbnails. Mm -hmm. I also had some um, scorpion pepper. So yeah, so I'm just putting my my putting down my um liver over there and then I'm gonna prep the rest of my ingredients. Good morning, coffee's kitchen. Coffee come in like a rapture and everybody get capture. Please if I find a helicopter when we see the lyrical doctor. Coffee has enough the time to jump with them. <laughs> Why is she jumping? <laughs> good morning to you, Coffee's Kitchen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful day. And we are here just thanking God for the opportunity to be here. I know there are some folks who may be facing adversities. We ourselves face adversities every now and then. But you know what? The sun is shining, as Bob Marley would say, and the weather is sweet. So there is something to be happy about. There is something to smile about. All right? If your husband giving you trouble, just take the pillar and lick him with the pillar this morning. You know? 
And the mother said, why you lick me and you don't answer him? Just lick him with the pillar. Until you're comfortable up yourself. Then so properly lick. Okay, you don't want to lick him with nothing else, you know, else you go to prison. So, and if your wife are you trouble, let me tell you, do. go cut the grass. Go find something to do. Because if you sit down in there and back and forth with her, you're not going to win. Let me just tell you that. Women, God give them the art of winning argument. That's one of the gifts, the spiritual gift where women get. The art of winning argument and long remembrance. Jeez and peace, them can remember. All when you think you passed that the subject that three years ago, you remember you did say one time that you did wear blue shirt. I never blue shirt you did wear. A pink. Good morning, Tanya Johnson. Morning, Tanya. Blessings to you. Tanya in the house. Tanya Johnson is in the house and Cora Springs is in the house. Our my onions, my scallions are cut. And for your garlic, you just want to pretty much just Yes, please. I'm on garlic powder. Hey, how we ask if beach open and me still cannot get Insta? Get what? I don't understand. Oh, you you want you wanted to know if the beach is open? Father God. The beach is. Yeah, they had pulled back on reopening the beach, but I don't think there is, um, well, in the popular areas, mm -hmm. you know, they enforce the beach rules a little bit more, but in the pop, in the, 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 the more rural areas are the less, the less, um, uh, popular areas, they, they do allow people to do walks, but you, you can't carry a cooler and, and certain things, um, out there, you just have to go out and probably walk on the beach or whatever you can't go with can't yeah you what? can't go sunday prayer kid asks you don't want him in florida question mark prayer kid you know so you have to come down to florida i want to see a prayer kid <laughs> prayer kid you have to pass through we just don't only answer reverend <laughs> say hit sir not lick good morning okay. lashawn Morning, Lala Sean. In the house. Lala, good Canary morning. Have in the house. And guys, yeah. you can follow Canary Av um, on Instagram, and they are they they produce beautiful scented candles. Soy candles. Soy organic. Beans. Yeah. Yes. Pleasant you know, to the nostrils. Support black business Healthy. and follow Canary Av on Instagram. Type it in the in the in the in the thing. See. All right, and I'm using jalapeno. As I said, I'm using um, a whole heap of pepper. The wife says she want pepper um, thing today. So I make sure so she get pepper. Pepper she want, pepper she get. I say go. How much the rings you cooking? Can I stop by? Who that? Andrew. Wait, I'm just saying. How much the rings you cooking? Can I stop How much servings may I cook? Yeah. We're cooking three and a quarter servings. <laughs> so you can't get a quarter. <laughs> You can get the quarter. <laughs> that I eat Simon to stop by first. <laughs> first some person. I talk to Kino and make it know that people are trying to invade from the, the food the food scene. You understand? <laughs> Alright, I'm coming guys. Um grab grab me a container the babe when we can wash these all of these vegetables one time, please. No mass. Bro, you saw the person? What who, person? Who eats jalapenos full of hot sauce? No. Why would I want to do that? Your nearest Your incarnation. Wait, by the way, this is going to be pepper? Incarnation. I don't know. Yes, I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> Look. Incarnation. Incarnation. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Once again, <laughs> we are making today liver and peppers. It's normal. The normal recipe is liver and onion. And even though we're going to be adding onions, the wifey was a little bit adamant that we do peppers. She, of course, meant bell peppers, but you know how it go already because we need real pepper in our life. So Hey, heart of worship, so don't give Anjo my food. Oh, Anjo, heart of worship, Colleen, for the food. So I'm so, so sorry, sir. <laughs> the food that won't be able, and it now go share. What is the hottest pepper? The hottest pepper that I know of is the Carolina Reaper. Um, however, the Trinidad Scorpion is in close um, 
running very close to it and of course you know our jamaican scotch bonnet is always in the mix some way somehow at babes you can wash and wash this one to wash this one too and you can wash the garlic just for just wash garlic see what about the time? oh you can watch the time uh, that's too much time if it's too much time take off some of the time because we don't need a lot of time <laughs> time is on your side you know joshua show them what go on in that something where is the hunting in the it's fridge? in the fridge yeah show them what go on in that something there See? okay here we have a box full of mangoes that they uh you know so them mango they are from real real mango walk you understand yeah, it's just a box full of mangoes. Look, look, look. I just said it's a box full of mangoes. All right, so we have our liver there being uh, marinating, and we're just. Why, why are you showing that? He's, he's no, you can't show other sauce. people things about our thing. Yes, it's not a video, it's a TikTok. I don't business if it's a tick or a talk. Our tax are, you know, you want to do it, you do it. You want to do it? Let's no. try it, Joshua. No. I challenge you. I'm not eating a jalapeno full of sriracha. And I challenge you, Joshua. Come on, let's see how brave you are. I challenge you. All right, so this morning, as I said before, guys, we are making liver. And um, Whitney and the art of worship says she coming true. She coming for real for now. She want her something, so. Andrew, I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry for you. I'm so sorry for you. From your tree? No, not from No, our we, tree. we went to West Palm Beach yesterday for the mango them. So big up yourself. Trouble in West Palm. Big up yourself. I'm not going to call her name because she want me to call her trouble. Good morning from Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale's in the house. Florida in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Oh, when you... oh guys yeah all right so let me see let me see let me see me liver and onions is a very english dinner yes yes liver and onions is is an english um yeah and they do it a little slightly different for some houses they they put breading um they put flour on the liver and and stuff like that and you some that yeah i think you did bald head pig and I. all right i'm gonna i'm gonna put some a little bit of um black pepper in my liver just signed on what is the liver marinating in the liver is you have to go rewatch a movie the, the show again rewatch the show the liver is marinating in a, a blend of soy sauce uh, moore's marinade grace fish and meat sauce and some spicy honey garlic sauce all right that's what it's, it's marinating in and i just added black pepper garlic powder and paprika i'm adding a little bit of paprika now for that nice you know burnt flavor like when we are age restaurant cooking and eat the chili hot stuff that's what they want you to do me yes no sir go on by your business all right and i'm just mixing in the liver and guys you're gonna see how we make this liver come alive in a few minutes all right so the liver has been marinating now for the past 10 to 15 minutes and that's great 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 all right, so let me just get me back over here, Josh. So I'm just cutting up my my vegetables now. And guys, as I said, we are not chefs. We started this this channel because we we are foodies. We are, we love food and we love um, entertaining and having good conversations. And so that's what we're doing here. Yeah, the belly is just about having fun, sharing, and letting your light shine let people know that you're a good person and not everybody agree or everybody like us but for those who do the 75 or 76 thousand of you who do we appreciate you all all right so this is liver and peppers and every time every time we want 
we want you to also um, consider ways in which you can turn your hands to make fashion. What I mean by that? I mean, find interesting ways to present your food or to cook your food that brings a little bit of excitement to your palate. You know, sometimes we are stuck in the, the usual traditional ways and after a while it gets boring. Nowadays when your home has become your palace, your home has become that place of, of, of safety, you want everything that you do to resonate with a little bit of, you know, niceness. So that's what we're doing this morning. Las Vegas in the house. Who? Las Vegas. Las, Las Vegas, Vegas in, in the, the house. house. Nevada. Nevada in the house. Hey. Baby, baby, come on. Come on. She always say the baby baby like she just she doesn't say baby baby come on. You can't say it. You have to say baby baby come on. Baby baby come on. Yeah. Baby baby come on. Baby baby come on. Baby baby. I have a slight speech impediment. How did you come up with the name Yardy Belly? How did I come up with the name Yardy Belly? All right. So the Yardy is was used um in in um the UK um. It was the name given to Jamaican or expats who, you know, was involved in gang and all these type of things. And it, I realized that if we keep the negative stereotype going, then that's what it's always going to be, a negative stereotype. And so I thought, I'm a Jamaican expat. I may be living in the U.S., but I'm still a Jamaican. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bad man, Lanka. I think, I think the name became more... You know, general after a while. People yeah. just once you're a Jamaican, them say a yardie. Yeah. Just say me a yardie. You know, it's not necessary. And then the belly has yeah. to do with my my food. You know, um, addictions. Cause we love the food. We love the belly. We love we love what I go. And then my belly did big at the time. It, it I get sort of slimmer now. You know? Don't don't turn the camera in my belly, Joshua. Leave the camera, Joshua. Leave the camera. Don't turn it on. Belly. <laughs> just stop, stop, Joshua. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> And so after a while that, that the Didn't name stuck. Already? Yeah. After a while the name stuck and we just decided to work with it. And it's been it's been awesome. It's been wonderful. You know? Working with the name Yardy Belly TV. Um it was Yardy Belly in a foreign first. <laughs> and then we moved to Yardy Belly TV. Good morning from San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio's in the house. Hey, Texas is in the house. Come on. A baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. A baby, baby, come on. When you walk by Serrano Pepper, I'm going to put it in there and don't care. Because I know that I like it hard. Dave Shady says, um... I love food too. Love you guys, by the Draws me to your channel. Not every day you come across good people. I am vegan, but I still get to watch to get ideas. Awesome sauce. And and I, I would I would recommend that you jump into my vegan playlist mm -hmm. because we do have a vegan playlist. And I I'm in that playlist. I'm also I, I try to be as creative as possible. We have some really good Caribbean based food. Um, that's our 100% vegan. You can tell her what she can use to make vegan liver. Didn't we do vegan liver with what is that thing called? Satan. Satan. Yeah. So vegan liver can be done with Satan, and we're just cutting up some real pepper now. I made. Just check out my vegan playlist for all the vegans on or the vegeta the vegetarian or the veggie inspired folk. Please the check out or the veggie wannabes. Check out my vegan playlist ASAP for real good food. Um, other question? Any other question? Um, can I omit the hot peppers? I don't do spicy food. Yes, you may omit the hot peppers. Um, you can use a little cayenne if you so choose. Because for Caribbean folks, pepper is an essential part of cooking. And so, if you don't do spicy food, if, even, even if you're Caribbean, sometimes you don't want pe pepper. My, my wife don't like hot pepper, you know, but because she knows she have a hot husband. <laughs> Wee! Because her husband is very hot, she have to work with it, you see. What is, 
So, did somebody move? The, did the jalapeno go away? I don't know where the jalapenos went. I saw it somewhere. Yeah. No, that's at the Serrano. Isn't it? Just a piece of the Serrano and see if it hot for me. Well, no. Um, liver, you taking me back to Wednesday nights with my grandma. She cook liver or pork chops every Wednesday. Either <laughs> buy it, curry it. Curry. Or curry, curry in the oven. I never, never yeah. ever heard about that one. Where are they from? That's true. I don't hear. Try, I never hear about curry it. Um, Josh, tell yeah. Candy to check her phone. Hear that? You hear, see? Mm -hmm. Check your phone. All right, so what would they know? We're almost at the place where our liver is being used. And I'm gonna put some more things, but I don't wanna do it yet. Um. Okay, Troy, I got the message. I won't, I won't, make, I won't put the message um, public here, Troy. But I got the message, Josh, Josh, just write this down for me, write this number down. I may have a call you as soon as I'm done. Barry, good morning to Barrington Christian, sir. Good morning to you, sir. Yeah, good morning, good morning. And, you know, as I go along, my mind tell me what to put. I'm just put some herbs now. And this is just a mixture of herbs that I'm putting on my liver. Yeah. And Jamaicans always have to use allspice or pimento. We have to use it. So may I put a little couple seed in there or something. She loves her ketchup. I really love your videos. Hmm? Nothing. You cooking, I'm cooking. Make some seasoned rice with chickpeas. Go on, that sounds good, that sounds good. Now, this is something that most people may not use in their liver. Um, it's not a typical Jamaican ingredient that we will use in our liver. Um, as a matter of fact, this is, this is more essential in um, curries. But I promise you guys, the flavor that this gives it's amazing you know so add a little cumin trust me with this one add a little cumin to your liver cumin, cumin sorry because you know uno foreign people talk different from we cumin you hear me see mm -hmm. cumin <laughs> i'm watching you cooking liver i will tell you what you will be doing wrong oh lord barrington leave me alone barrington if you notice me not ask her who said that me come in no barrington says so <laughs> And leave me with my liver start. Brought bought cumin, but don't use it that much. Okay. Cumin is good, coffee. And even when you're cooking your your regular curry, um, if you're using a, a pre-mixed curry like a Jamaican mix curry mixture, use your cumin in it. Oh, this is not my cup, guys. This is the wifey cup. And her tea. Barrington, it is um um cow liver, beef liver. And them have calf liver, but the calf liver, it's not expensive. And guys, let me tell you something. We are not, there's no shame in our game. If you want to contribute and support Yard Belly TV, we have a lot of um, ways in the description box, as well as you can click that dollar sign in the chat, in the chat box over to the corner, and you can contribute to us, support us, drop a little dollar or two dollar. The next thing what I found out going into the supermarket in recent time after this COVID, the things them get dear. Everything. Gets Everything dear. expensive. And it's like, wow, for somebody who is cooking every day and all these things, no, you have said no. You know? And it's very limiting because some, let me tell you how cooking is. Cooking is a creative um, thing. And so the inspiration comes certain ways. The inspiration comes like you're in the middle of planning something and the inspiration dropping in your spirit. You have to run out and get those ingredients. It's not that you're being careless, but it's just how the inspiration works. And guys, trust me, it's rough. It's rough. So if you want to support Yard Belly or if you want to buy a t-shirt, you can shop now, click the shop now page and buy a t-shirt. And of course, this program is sponsored by um one true natural so yeah get the thing going get the thing going josh hold the camera you should turn, do a giveaway turn it around 
and let us get this done. Now, I have about four tablespoons of oil in this pot. And Josh, you have the back way. Yeah, you can, you can, um, and you're gonna put your liver in, and this is where you saute your liver. This is the way in which you wanna cook your liver. Baby, grab the grab the, the, the garlic and then stuff that to me. Okay. And I'm putting in my garlic. Do you do charity work? I do charity work. Um, what kind of work? I'm putting in my time. And this is very, very time sensitive, guys. You don't want to overdo this thing because otherwise your liver is going to get super duper tough. I'm putting in a little bit of my sriracha peppers. Come on, it's good. It's good. Once the sauce starts to pick up, I'm putting in some of my bell, my, my um, regular sweet peppers. I'm putting in some onion. Some scallion, sorry. Oh, you don't put onion in this one? Yeah, put onion in there, but not at the beginning. Okay. Alright, put in some more <laughs> of this. I would have put the garlic first. As a Barrington, that don't? Yeah. Barrington, I know where you have some, but no one on the pot. You know, alright, put in my onion. Alright, back when now, baby. Grab the ketchup for me, see? I normally flour my liver. Exactly. I know a lot of people are going to say that they normally flour their liver. But flouring the liver is one way of doing it. And this is another way of doing it. Alright, squirt some ketchup now. Please make a turn your hand and make fashion hoodie. <laughs> uh, oh, we have that. We have Tony and I make fashion on a hoodie, right? See, I, I need to check. Hoodie? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we do have it. What? Yeah, go ahead. All right, that's good. Is that ever some bad ketchup before? Grace, give me the ketchup in the bag. All right, so once you have sauteed your liver and it's coming up, and guys, we never put no um, browning in our liver. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of my Moore's marinade. Brad, put some extra garlic. Fight with the vampire damn. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, and then I'm going to turn my stove down a little bit so that this don't burn. By the way, what about tomato? You want tomato? Grab, grab a tomato real quick. The wife is a she wants tomato. Guys, you, do you put tomato in your liver? Tell me quick. Don't use browning. No, I don't use browning. I, I'm not. I'm not using browning today. Barring that, yeah. Yes to the tomato. Yes to the tomato. And I'm putting a piece of butter. And I'm using a little bit of general so sauce. And this is for my gravy, guys. Mm. Put the tomato there. No, no tomato, no liver. Too late, too late. Too late, too late. <laughs> And you can dump in everything now, babes. And we're going to, the liver is ready. The liver is easy to cook. The longer I cook, the Where's longer Where's the rice? Cook. Where's this? it? No, 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 that's hot. This? Yeah. Or you want to finish with it? Okay. All right, so let me do the sponsorship. Go with mommy. Go to mommy, baby. Good morning. 
all right guys so this morning's video as mentioned it's before clean. is brought to you by none other than <laughs> if you never said the mighty mighty the mighty mighty one true natural all right guys and if it's your first time logging on you may have not heard about one true natural but one true natural is our product line and we boast the fact that our products are all natural organic stuff and shout out to black owned businesses yeah let's support our own communities so these products are designed for but not limited to naturals because they are natural stuff so they're great for all hair types so the first product is the flagship product and it's our shine of mine which is a nourishing oil blend and it's a blend of different organic oils that are great for the scalp it is awesome to add shine it is an amazing hot oil treatment um, mixture it's awesome for the skin I, and I am going to be starting to post some of the reviews that you know my customers have been posting because the, those reviews tell the truth about yes. our products yes. yeah yes. so and of course we have the big dog we refer to this as the big dog the Jamaican black castor oil the pure don't forget that word pure Jamaican black castor oil and let me tell you something guys all castor oils are not created equal, equal. don't be fooled and I can tell you some of the telltale signs if it's too cheap red not flag good. If it is if it doesn't have a very bold fragrance red flag like a nutty smell and sometimes on the front you will see it says Jamaican black castor oil but if you go into the ingredients at the back then you will notice a lot of times that it lists other stuff in there but as for this this is straight from Jamaica in the hills of st. Mary grown extracted and yeah it is bottled here sent here and we bottle it you know we retail it amazing it is awesome for thickening your hair awesome for growing your hair if you're a male it is great for the beard my husband is trying to grow in his beard yeah and I'm it's, it's so coming cool. true it's coming true but yeah this is amazing it can be added to your regular hair products too i add it to my deep conditioners it can be added to your styling products it's just overall amazing and of course our final product is our jamaican black castor oil mascara yes genius it has a regular mascara wand and this is what you can use on your brows ladies we know we go through the struggle with the brows and the lashes especially when we try to wear the fake lashes and it take our own lashes out amazing reviews about how this brings in back your your lashes and thickens the brows so yeah and i went ahead and took the liberty of putting it in a gift package if you want the entire set you can order it as a gift package and if you do so i give you a little you know just a little something something bonus but you free. get yeah a free gift so this is what the the package looks like so you can order by visiting our instagram page the link is in the the description the bio rather and the website is www.etsy.com slash shop slash one true natural again www.etsy.com slash shop slash one true natural guys you're here well thank you for it all right enough of one true natural sponsors of breakfast live all right so back to the food now you guys let me type in the website if i can real quick joshua you, you resign come hold this on me please <laughs> oh, good. Mm -hmm. hold it. all right so it is we're even reading this Oh no, I was reading them. You can't go through and read them now. Um, it looks delicious. I will be cooking this dish tonight. Mm. Yeah, we love when we inspire people, don't we? Yes, yes, yes. That's why we're doing it. To inspire somebody. UK, London in the house. London. Nice, nice, nice. London's in the house. Hey, UK is in the house. Oh, baby, baby, come on. 
All right. Yardy Belly just posted the link for One True Natural. All right. So let me show them what we're serving the food with. Yeah, come there. Give me a spit. Mm -hmm. And it's ready, you know. See, that's what changed. Huh? You changed the field. And the thing. Is that in trouble? Can you repeat the website? It was just typed in. It's www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash one true natural. natural. Yeah. All right. Sorry, babe. You can put those after me, please. This? Yeah. All right, so. Now for the surprise. All right, so this is what our accompaniment is looking like. This is what we're serving up our liver with. Of course, eh, we were going to do a liver with breadfruit, but we're like, nah. When you're eating liver, you need something to scrape up the juice and crush in into the, the liver juice and so you know see so i have to get some green banana dumpling yam the hobby put a piece of cocoa in there not my favorite we'll put some ripe planting and and all these things no no let me ask the people them what what one oh lp kenya is in the house hey africa in the house oh yeah hey, baby, baby baby come on, on baby baby, baby come, come on baby baby come Joshua, on that's why you have a question somebody's asking do you do you cook he said when he want to. Come. Usually we just turn up and, and Joshua put on a big pot. So all guys, right. me have a question. For all the, the gentlemen out there who are married or who have a significant other, does your significant other try to throw shade upon your food them where you like over the foods where she like? Answer that. Throw shade? What do you mean by it? What do you mean? What do you mean by it? Like, like, I'm take up my cocoa in the supermarket, you have to oh, you're overdoing it now. Why mm. you have to take up the cocoa? Because, I mean, it's breakfast, so we kind of wanted but, to keep it, like, with no, 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 no. Not like a million no, food. Hold on, hold on. The next question is, why the woman them always make decision for the man? The man I say, we kind of, we, and we decided, me never decide nothing. I want because, my cocoa. you know why? Because of the side of the our brain that functions. That's Which is our? The side that has the wisdom. Me want my cocoa. <laughs> Stop trouble because we decided. We never decide nothing. I decide for cocoa and dumpling. Josh has two cooking videos on the page. Yes, Ben, he does. Joshua made pancakes. One he did breakfast live on his own one day with yeah. pancakes and stuff. American stuff. He likes American food. Uh, what Unfortunately. Else, what else did he make? I think he made the Popeyes sandwich. Yeah, he made his own version of Papa. He made his version of Papa's oh. sandwich. You have to tell them to go in our playlist names. Yeah, you guys need to check those videos out. That's it, Joshua stuff is... is oh, What Josh Eats is yeah. a playlist. Yeah. There's a playlist for Joshua called What Josh Eats. So if you guys want to see more of Josh, that's where you will find videos with him in there. But he he cooks rice better than me. Remember to tell you that. And me? He cook better. Well, you don't cook rice, period. Because I cook the meat, so I always... Right. So I'm the, the rice um, chef, and then Joshua now has become the the ultimate rice chef. Breakfast is the first meal of the day, not about what is consumed. Mm. Somebody well, has like a throw shade for me now. You know what I mean about throw shade for me? No, I think it, the, that person might be responding to something that was said before, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And, and I kind of disagree with that because, let me tell you, you see, because your body has been fasting for, depending on how many hours you've been sleeping or depending on how much hours fall between when you ate your last meal the day before and when you do eat the next day, you do not want to pretty much attack the system with things that are hard to process. Mm -hmm. And understand what I mean. The first thing that you eat shouldn't be liver exactly so when we woke up today you know typically what we do is we try to make that aloe vera and orange juice and the sea sea moss gel mm -hmm. that we do it as a shot mm -hmm. and then when once you have that the body already you know is getting all of that nourishment mm -hmm. initially so mm -hmm. you're not just putting you know all of that 
food in your body without preparing your system. Right. And um, ideally, you want to do like some water, warm water with lime. Mm -hmm. Or tea, like we just had ginger tea. Or warm tea. tea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to do that. Um, and and we, we used to follow it and, and say Jamaican um, tradition. But the truth is we're learning more and more that we need to, you know, um, nutrify our bodies more. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's where that comes from. Joshua asks why the woman make the decision on what the man eats because we know what's best for them, <laughs> right? <laughs> for real, I think that's what he asks. Oh Lord, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you know what's best. I don't know what's best. You know, because suppose for me, cocoa is best. Mm -hmm. I think cocoa is the best thing for me. Yeah, I used to have to make a lot of decisions for him, but I think he's better now. So he he. <laughs> you used to have to. Yeah. Wow. I used to have to, because his his judgment in terms of food was a little bit off the charts. But wow. he is a hundred percent better now, you guys. So I can believe him to him thing and him do him thing so responsibly. My sense. Yeah, I have lemon and ginger water. That's awesome. 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 All right, so the food is being shared, you guys. Grab your camera so you can take that. <laughs> All right, hold on. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, I'm going to grab some scallions. Hold on, look. Big. The skeleton look big. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know it already. Sometimes it's a fair. It's a fair big. Sometimes it's coffee. Just, sometimes it's Guys, we're just prepping. Alright, so. Breakfast like this morning. Coming somewhere. Enjoy your breakfast. Looks like it smells amazing. It does. Show, don't go yet. Don't go yet. Look at the last piece. Look at the last piece. got to get back in See, the show them Hold last. on. Hold on. Let me show you, Casa. Come on. Casa, this is the plating. Do not leave before the plating, Casa. I love, love, love this. A favorite breakfast for me and my family. Awesome LP. Well, I was married. Yeah, so hold on there. This is how it looks. For those who have to hop off, let me just show you real quick. We have just a couple of minutes remaining, so we will be ending soon too. But yeah, we have two green bananas. I love soft green bananas, you guys. I love boiled green, um, ripe plantain. We have dumpling, of course. Dumpling is the star of the show. Star of life. Yeah, star of life. And we have one little random hidden yellow yam. It looks nice and dry though. The tune has been in my head all morning. <laughs> Oh, Lala. <laughs> Which tune? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Can you do kidneys? Deborah, we can do kidneys. We don't really cook. We don't usually cook it, but we can try, right? Of course, definitely. Yeah, we definitely will cook it. We're going we're gonna to cook it with a twist. I, I feel like we can be more creative with kidneys. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Sweet and sour kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like liver, but that looks delicious. Trust me. <laughs> Amazing. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Mm -hmm. And mommy. we appreciate it, guys. One hour is 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 not to be taken lightly, and you guys choose to stick with us for a whole hour. You know, to see us prepare our meal and we really appreciate it and never ever think that we you know take, it for, take it for granted or we take it lightly we do not we know that time is precious time is money and you guys have certainly invested in us by you know spending the time with us mm -hmm. Charlene Adams Baltimore in the house hey. Maryland in yeah. the house hey. Hey. Baby, baby, come on baby, baby. she said liver it's about time <laughs> Wow. I actually been waiting. <laughs> That's a fifteen dollar plate. Listen to your manager. <laughs> Alright, turn turn the camera around. And and um well let me blow up on it. Camera is you moved it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, that tears. Mm -mm. Boy, I soft so. Can we make it? It's nice. Mm mm. It's nice. Not not too salty, right? Mm mm. Or the pepper. That one, we're not getting no, no dumpling. Well, you want a dumpling from camera too? Mm -hmm. No, man, you're going bad, man. You want a dumpling from camera? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. You know, carrots could have been in it. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't, maybe. Passionate for God, and you cause this where I eat from camera. This is nice. You know, it's passionate for God, I post to feed from camera. Joshua tastes here. Because they claim that Joshua gives an authentic review. <laughs> so, Josh, come taste the food. Babe, this one is not like that. It tastes good, huh? Mm -hmm. One hour in my day. That is filled with inspiration. Thanks to Yard Belly TV. Mm -hmm. Thank you Thanks, so babe. much. We appreciate you. Where's Your Joshua cut. <clears throat> Joshua, come and try it. Let me make it try it. I'm going to deliver. Cute. <laughs> So you're all cute. No, you have to come on the camera. All right, more. We are uh, more. <laughs> this is for Joshua. Hot. Come on. Joshua, me not blow no food for no big man. You blow your own food. Let go. No, I don't want it to fall. For those who know Joshua, you know, say I'm get white since Corona time. <laughs> Quarantine. Are you where we find the bedroom? You know, the people them have things to do in them too life. Hot, too hot. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, tears, Joshua. Tell me your tears. It's not, it's not in favorite food, guys, so. I need to know. Okay. It mm. tastes funny. It tastes good. Nah, it tastes good for me. It's okay. It so, show you I eat the dumpling, Miss Dumpling Queen. I like the sauce. You like the sauce? Jeez, um. She's a um, dumpling, a bunny, a Mark Queens. Hot dumpling, hot. Mm -mm. That pass. He pass. Well, pass it to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, show them one more, one more look of the food. And then we're out of here. Come sing the song. What song? For the pulled board. Put on your red dress. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wait, you don't bring a bomb here. And step in those high heels. Mm -hmm. This is a food porn song. And some of that sweet perfume. It sure look good on you. You got to say, my, 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 my. Mm. The liver look good this morning. Try to say you're a millionaire in, me, in the making. My mouth to God's ears. Hey, thank you, try. May I take that? May I take that and run with it, try? May I take that and run? Guys, oh, me not do it. True it's dropping on my spirit a while ago to say we need something. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> we need $400. <laughs> $400. Four twenty two, twenty two. We got the same man. Look at this, guys. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Look at that, look at that, guys. Look at it, look at it. Look at it. True Blue says Chicago loves you. Thank you so much. Chicago's in the house. Hey, Illinois in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on, baby, Paula baby. Paula said, look so good. I need the recipe. The recipe shall be on the screen and in the description box in a few. And guys, the the reason why the dumpling look half color because we cook the dumpling in the same pot with the with the banana. Yeah, that's um, and when you're cooking with banana, you want to tip a little vinegar or, or squeeze a lime in it so that it don't red up the pot. Mm -hmm. Um, for the red side of it is this is how it is. And guys, let me tell you something. Keep praying, passionate for God. Keep praying because we need we need a, a breakthrough. breakthrough. <laughs> <laughs> a breakthrough we guys. need a breakthrough. And that breakthrough shall be coming from you. Hot Kalaloo burns down. Next time, liver and bummy. <laughs> you know, so I see the bummy this morning and I was gonna pick it up. Shirley, you see how old is Josh? Josh just turned 17. Sure. Who want, who want to know Josh's age and why? 
Harry drop to some. say food porn. This is PG thirteen. <laughs> 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 me drop to to a am a look up. Um, and guys, when whenever I go store, pick up on our tomatoes, all right? And don't put your tomatoes in the fridge. Keep your tomatoes out in the pantry and just wash them and pop them. And they are so good with sriracha. Wash uh, them. No, we're not sriracha. We're um, tajin. Wash them and pop them. Wash them and pop them. Hey. Wash them and pop them. Hey. Wash them, pop them, wash them, pop hey. them. And guys, remember, if you want CMOS gel, DM me on Instagram. And we're working on the CMOS gel mm -hmm. ASAP. What? Mm -mm. No, say no. No, keep going. Yeah, uh, working on the, the CMOS gel um, ASAP. We have a new batch going out. The first batch is done clean, clean, clean. Yeah. And the new batch going out. Kim Kim, we have the new, we have, we, your CMOS almost ready. We're trying to get the packaging now because we don't want to get the super expensive packaging. And we want to get the right size for the bottles. So we're working on it. It's going to happen. And guys, we're here because we're here. Check out my playlist. And until then, see you when I see you. Remember, live and laugh, cook and eat it is a big things a go on in a yardy belly kitchen don't hang up, don't hang up. what are we pan? what are we pan? quick 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 we're over a minute we're over an hour quick all right we have yes just put yeah that the one piece there. right oh right oh the plate look good now the plate look good the plate uh, tomato and coriander um helen Helen, you know, did you know Helen that coriander and cilantro is the same thing? Shirley said, I'm not a cool girl. <laughs> Shirley, you have me a dead with love. Yes, do you know that coriander and cilantro is the exact same thing? Yes, cilantro is referring to the leaves and coriander is referring to the stems and the seeds yeah but look where we live we live look shocking see if i take more picture it is taking life so guys big up on yourself and love and respect thank you all for joining us today and uh, yada belly tv committed to doing good work to give you good food and make it nice as possible big up on yourself big up on yourself all right enough blessings live and laugh cook and eat remember to check out our shop now page if you want a t-shirt before festival start before independence get a jamaican t-shirt from yardy belly tv different styles different flavor different designs different colors and everything delivered directly to your home all right blessings to you bye bye coffee come in like a rapture hey. and everybody get captured hey. if they got a helicopter when they see the lyrical doctor coffee at you not the <laughs> stop the jumping <laughs> 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 <I saw. laughs>